Welcome to another personalization video. I'm Efrain from Builder. You've probably heard about the new Silhouette tool, the Auto Sheet Feeder, you can use with your Portrait 3 or any other Cameo 4 machines. Well, today we'll take a look at it, show you how to use it, and tell you if it's worth your money. Ready to know it all? Let's get right into it. The Silhouette Auto Sheet Feeder comes in two versions, the A4, suitable for the Portrait 3 and Cameo 4, and the A3 Plus, for the Cameo Plus and Cameo Pro. This accessory will allow you to automate cutting jobs, like repeating the same design on different sheets, but it will also give you the option to add barcodes, even if you don't have the business version of Silhouette Studio, so you can cut pre-printed designs with registration marks, even if they are different. Let's set it up. Installing the Auto Sheet Feeder The setup process is very simple. The included plastic face has noticed that you have to match with the bottom of your cutting machine. If you have a cameo, you must raise the height by lifting the feed on the sheet feeder. Then, attach the sheet feeder to lock it into place. Now, you must connect the cameo to the feeder using the supplied USB cable. Plug one half of the power splitter into the cutting machine and the other into the sheet feeder. Finally, connect the power cord to the power splitter and the USB cable from the sheet feeder to your PC. Open Silhouette Studio and turn off first the cameo and then the feeder. If you go to the send tab, you will see that feeder is already configured. Using the auto sheet feeder. Apart from creating stickers with the auto sheet feeder, you can also cut heat transfer vinyl or sublimation vinyl. Here's how to make clothing labels using the Liberty Sublimation Vinyl, which you can print with either your conventional inject printer or sublimation printer. Prepare your design in Silhouette Studio. Activate the registration marks and if you are going to cut copies later, enable the barcode. Adjust the cutting parameters before sending to print as they will be saved in the barcode data. Send to print. Remember that this vinyl mustn't be printed in mirror image. Once the print is completely dry, load it in the feeder and send it to cut. You will see how the machine loads the sheet automatically, reads the barcode and the recitation marks and perfectly cuts the design. Discard the excess vinyl and there you have your clothing labels ready to apply. Lift off the liner, place on the garment and press using protective paper for 15 seconds at 140 degrees. If you're using a small press, such as the Cricut Easy Press Mini or HTV Rond, use the lowest setting. Remove the protective paper to discover your label. Look at how the color has changed with the heat. As you've seen, this accessory has many possibilities. If you usually do repetitive jobs or multiple copies, this is definitely something you should add to your wishlist. That's all. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more. Leave a comment down below if you have any more questions. You can also follow us on social media so you can see offers, ideas and news from the world of personalization. See you soon!